Hey beautiful girl, welcome to Mango Tea. My name is Steven Mango and today we are going to be addressing all of the explosive drama that went down on Twitter over the last 48 hours between Tea Spill, Here for the Tea, Jeffree Star, and Jacqueline Hill. We have all of the receipts and all of the leaked DMs with Jeffrey and Jacqueline, but before we get into all of the screenshots, we need to rewind a little bit for context and get you up to speed on what happened. Also, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of the hottest tea on YouTube. So, unless you've been living under a rock, you know who Tea Spill and Here for the Tea are. Tea Spill has over 847,000 subscribers, and Here for the Tea, otherwise known by her first name Sam, has over 418,000 subscribers. They are by far two of the most popular beauty drama channels on YouTube. But let's rewind here. Six months ago, Tea Spill and Sam decided to collaborate on a video series exposing Jaclyn Hill. This video released private emails and other revealing information regarding Jacqueline in a field collaboration with Makeup Geek, for example, which was very damaging to Jacqueline. It was slated to be a multi-part investigative video series that the two ladies were uploading together. This was highly anticipated, had video trailers teasing the video, and had so many people on the edge of their seats waiting for the videos to drop. However, the series was quickly cancelled and left many people wondering if Jacqueline paid off T. Spiller Sam or even threatened legal action over the information that was presented in their video. Now, let's get into the screenshots from the other night and start piecing this puzzle together. There were rumors going around that T. Spill wasn't on good terms with Sam after everything went down with the cancellation of the Jacqueline Hill series. A Twitter user by the name of YouTube T sent this tweet in regard to T Spill and Sam. I just want to say, I 100% think Here for the T and her tea stains are trying to dox at T Spill YT because Jeffrey openly admits he supports her channel, which we all know is Sam's dream. Also, the fact T Spill is the biggest drama channel right now and is only growing. Jealousy is ugly in everyone. Which Sam responded to by saying, Dude, you are blank and sick. This is how stupid you are, though. If I wanted to dox her, I could. She could do the same to me. We live in the same city and worked on a collab together, moron. We're also on good terms. If you did your research, you'd see that person. Attempting to dox her is not a tea stain. In fact, up until recently, she didn't even like me, which I have receipts for. I know asking you to fact check would require brain cells you do not have, but that is the truth. That same person came for me as well. As for Jeffrey, I could not give an entire blank who that man supports. If I cared about being the biggest channel, I'd be pro Jeffrey, but I'm not because I don't like him. I'd make a lot of money supporting him, but again, I don't like him. I would expect someone like you to be able to see what he's doing because again, that would be asking you to use your last brain cell. Finally, stop trying to create drama where it doesn't exist. Sam then came under fire for misgendering Jeffrey's star after posting this tweet. Not everyone cares about being supported by Janice Starr, okay? Imagine thinking someone is jealous because Jeffrey supports another channel. I don't want his support, his PR, or his Cartier bracelets, ma'am, period. I also don't need anyone footing the bill for my attendance at their launch parties. Yeah, I know about that. Months of being blank and punished. The truth comes out today. Questions? Ask away. The reason Sam most likely tweeted the name Janice is because she didn't want her tweet discoverable by Jeffrey or to the public at large, so she used an alias name so it wouldn't be found. However, a user named L Loves T stepped in and wrote this tweet, which was liked by T by Ally, formerly known as Beauty Truth Sleuth, which set off Sam. I just want to say that no matter how angry you are at someone, it's never cool to deliberately misgender them. Don't do it, guys. Dude, shut the blank up. Leave me alone. I did not misgender anyone. Do your research and find out where that name stemmed from. And of course, BTS retweeting. Get the blank out of here. As we saw in the prior tweet, Sam asked others to ask her questions. A subscriber asked Sam if she can discuss more about what happened between her, Jacqueline, and Jeffrey. This is what she responded with. Yes, there is a screenshot where Jeffrey sent T. Spill a message saying that Jacqueline was close to ending her life as a result of our series. I have the screenshot, but it's not mine to show, and I still wouldn't do that to anyone despite being attacked for months. 
Another user replied to that saying, I felt there was some massive manipulation going on, which isn't uncommon in these people. Contrary to how they try to portray themselves, they don't get where they are by being all nice, kind, honest, and fluffy. I felt Sam and T-Spill had no choice but to cancel it. Just my honest opinion. Sam then started hinting around about vindicating herself regarding the Jacqueline series. FYI, sitting stagnant while I get dragged for months for every little thing when you know the truth is blanking disgusting. I'm done with this fake blank. Someone said Rich, meaning Rich Lux, we're looking at you BB. Sam then goes on to say, Also willing to release DMs between myself and the other party I collabed with on the JH series since you all think I control that, but I need permission. Same goes for the Jeffrey DM that apparently never happened. A user named Spectator responded, This situation reeks of manipulation on Jeffree Star's part. He put you guys in a position where if you released the video anyway, the internet was going to come for you for attacking a suicidal or vulnerable person. Sam says, he really did, but I took 90% of the heat for it. Funny, because when I spoke to Jacqueline Hill to ask about the situation, she had no idea what I was talking about. I have the receipts on that too, honey. And someone said, post it all. Now, if you didn't happen to know, Sam is good friends with Manny MUA. We all know by now that Sam is not a friend of Jeffree Star. Well, Sam went off on all these other drama channels because of the contradictory nature of others getting upset with her for being friends with Manny when other drama channels are friends with Jeffrey and clearly have bias towards him. Sam says, Also, let me get this straight. It's okay for drama channels to be friends with Jeffrey, but not okay for me to be friends with Manny because it's not the cool thing to do. Blank out of here, hoes. You all realize how much money I could make going with a popular opinion? Do you all really know? Because I'd be happy to tell you. If I told you $40,000 plus per month, would you believe me or do you want receipts on that? I'm happy to post my AdSense earnings from last year so you truly see what's going on here. I don't blame you guys because you truly don't know, but if you have any questions, please ask. I'm totally open. In Sam's defense, I do understand where she's coming from. I'm not a fan of Manny MUA in any way, but I can see how she can be upset that many of these drama channels are in good with Jeffrey, but still point out her being close with Manny as a way to discredit her and call her biased. During all of this, T-Spill chimed in. The person who thinks they dox me isn't even a tea stain. I worked closely with Sam for weeks, and I trust her, know her well enough to know she would never do that. Me and Sam are on good terms, so there's no use in trying to start drama between us. However, Sam finally cracked. She started with releasing the DMs between Tea Spill and Jeffrey. So, let's take a look. Here you go. Now please blank off. Jeffrey sent a message saying, Honest question. What would you do if someone killed themselves because of the content you guys created asking for a friend? Sam says, This was our series, not mine alone. He knew that. He manipulated. T-Spill said, Hey, wait, are you referring to the Jacqueline Hill video? I don't know if you've been on my channel, but I just make edits and talk about what's going on in the community. Jeffrey said, Oh, I love you, babe. But the Here for the Tea video series thing is causing things behind the scenes. Is Sam's goal to make someone take their life? It's close. I know you aren't a part of the craziness and you just spit facts. Just wasn't sure if you were involved in her series. Sam goes on to tweet, I love you, babe. Blank off. Eight months I kept this a secret? Eight months of constant hate? Someone says, T-Spill said, I just make edits, putting everything on your shoulders? Damn, that's cold-blooded. Sam responds saying, girl. The other person says, her public silence is deafening. Sam then went on to release a private DM with Jacqueline Hill. Let's take a look. Sam says, here you go. T-Spill writing to Jacqueline saying, well, someone reached out saying you were very close to suicide. It was just a little surprising considering how cooperative you've been. Jacqueline responds saying, Who the blank told you that? T-Spill says, They didn't tell me. They told the other person I'm working with, Jeffrey. Sam says, Let me clarify. These were messages to T-Spill. That's why I didn't share them earlier. It's not my style to share DMs. But I've been pushed and pushed while taking 95% of the heat for this. Why? To protect these messages to her. Meanwhile, during that time, I could barely get out of bed I was grieving so bad while being inundated with hundreds of people coming for me for a situation I had no part in. As for the Manny strike, guess who was the middleman in that situation? Me. No, I didn't make a video, but I helped with the resolution and that's all she wanted. But keep coming for me for not sticking up for her. You all don't know blank. 
Petty Page, another drama channel with over 100,000 subscribers, addressed the drama in a string of tweets and described her involvement in this matter with Sam. For the record, I'm the other person who had access to the Jeffree Star message. I offered to make a video on the situation and clear both these ladies' names and have me, an external party, vouch that it's real and legit. However, Here for the Tea did not want me to release the video. Tea Spill did. Here for the Tea refused to talk to me even though I asked multiple times to speak to her. She's doing the victim thing now to make Tea Spill look bad. I see through it. We're going back to 2017 tactics. Not a big fan. It's a tactical game and I'm not buying it. Good night. One more thing. This was all in the heat of the backlash they were both receiving at the time. Here for the Tea has received the brunt of it. I will admit that. But there was an opportunity to make it known. But it was via my mouth. So you cut your nose off to spite your face. If you're grieving, get off the web for your mental health girl, human to human. Just log off for a while. Everyone understands self-preservation. Now, do you happen to remember at the beginning of this video when Sam said her and T-Spill were still on good terms? Well, not anymore. Let's take a look. A user by the name of Shadow Wolf says, So are you and T-Spill still good at this very moment? Sam says, No, I am done. I held on to this for so long. Finally, after a long silence, T-Spill came out of the woodwork and made a statement about everything. I hate talking about private situations publicly, especially when it involves someone I considered a friend at one point, but since it's been made public without my knowledge, I don't believe in releasing DMs. If you message me something, I'm not going to save it for later tea on you. I sent Sam that message in confidence. It was between us and not for the public. We both decided to cancel the series after seeing Jacqueline's Snapchat in the DM. A video in some views isn't worth that risk. I luckily have pretty understanding followers, thank you, and most of you guys understood. I'm not going to lie, I got a lot of hate. I probably have every possible way to write Jacqueline's name blocked from my channel comments. People were pissed, but I stayed quiet and have been posting videos ever since just doing my thing. I haven't spoken to Sam in the longest time. I had no idea she was getting hate. We haven't mentioned the series to each other since October. Sam has her own stuff going on and hasn't even been on YouTube. I was getting my phone battery replaced today, so I was kind of shocked to see the DMs I sent in private released when I got home. To say I got off easy from this is insane because I copped the backlash hard. I just mute people, block or ignore, and keep it moving. Sam told you guys what happened eight months ago. You either accept her word or don't. Not everything needs a receipt, especially on a sensitive topic. Blank, I got tons of hate for even mentioning mental health in my statement eight months ago. I never believe in releasing DMs, so you can drag me all you want for that, but that's just my morals and that's that. I thought we were on good terms, but I thought wrong. Sorry if you guys were looking forward to the Jacqueline videos, but it wasn't worth it. Sam's been vocal about going through stuff in her personal life, so if you guys want to direct your no Jacqueline video hate towards someone, feel free to direct it towards me going forward. Sorry I have no receipts for you, I don't keep DMs, so either accept the explanation or don't. Now, after all of this occurred, it's been said online that Sam is in the hospital. She has discussed on Twitter struggling over the last few months, but we don't know exactly why or what's going on. Even though I've had my personal issues with Sam, I do wish her well and hope she's okay. Well, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this drama in the comment section down below. Please also make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay notified whenever I release a new drama video. This is Steven Mango with Mango Tea, and I'll see you over on my next video. Bye, guys.